Oh no, is he gonna be like a big, yeah, oh my, okay. Is there any way to avoid falling off? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Until Dawn. This game came out six years ago, but we just finished up the quarry on the channel, which was so good. If you missed it, I'll put it up in the corner so you can check it out. But man, that was such a good adventure and a good story, and it was intense. And so I wanted to go back and play the original, which is Until Dawn, the first game this company made. I'm just going to dive into it. I hope you're excited. If you are, as always, while we're watching this intro, make sure you leave a like, drop a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe if you like story games, because that's what this channel is all about. And I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments as well of what games you want to see me play on the channel you keep all that in mind i'm going to dive in and we're going to start until dawn the butterfly effect okay a tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now tiny butterfly devastating hurricane i'm familiar yeah is that like blood ew this is this is cool though the smallest decision can dramatically change the future, okay? Oh. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Your story is one of many possible- That's cool, I really like this little illustration. Makes sense. Choose your actions carefully. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done this so soon after finishing the quarry, man. My heart couldn't handle playing through that game. Oh shoot, that's a sharp knife. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Did you guys think this is a little bit oh, come on, she deserves it. Yet it's not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl M. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. This is a lot. I don't know who these names are. Just hit with a whole bunch of characters at once. My goodness, I don't know who's who. Hannah. Okay, Sam. <laughs> She's here. Shh, shh. Mike. It's Hannah. She's one getting pranked. Okay. Oh, they're all in the room with them, with them, aren't they? Oh no! Oh gosh! Who is this? Hey, did you see that? It's Beth. That didn't just be us this weekend. Josh. Oh, I can move now. Oh, huge. Okay. 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 Movement seems pretty similar. I can't really move the camera at all, which is kind of interesting. Are you over here? Oh, what's this? Press and hold R2 to pick up the note. Okay. Use the right stick to flip it. All right. Hannah, you look so hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike. Oh, man. So that, oh, that's so mean. Oh, my God. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Okay. Uh, so Beth is Hannah's, time. Beth is Hannah's sister. Who's passed out here? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Come on, there's something right here. Use the right stick to... Oh, okay, I can use the right stick. Okay, well, what's this? Too much to drink? Jeremiah Craig. Craig. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Oh. It's actually your brother? I didn't realize I was going to progress the scene... Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. 
Oh, poor Hannah. Oh my god. <sighs> the butterfly tattoo. What? Oh my god. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all got out of hand, Just but... a stupid prank. Oh. Uh, hey, you guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah. I like Sam. Sam seems to be the. Oh! Use the right stick to ch Oh, oh, what am I choosing? What am I choosing? Wake Josh or find the others? Josh didn't wake up when we got him last time. So I kind of want to find the others. I also don't know if it matters a ton. I'm going to find the others. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Anna! Okay. What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messed around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? Absolutely. You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Yeah, Mike. Oh, press the correct action button before the time runs out. I can do that. Oh, Let's go. Square. Oh, wow. That was kind of fast. Okay. That's kind of fast. Uh, oh, definitely fast. Give me some more practice with the buttons. I can do this. Oh, what a jump. My goodness. I'm ready. Come on, I know you're going to give me some more buttons. I'm ready. Oh, left or right? Instinct is telling me left. Follow footprints or follow noise? Give me footprints. Those are hoof prints. Excuse me, guys. Oh, am I looking around right now? Oh. Oh my. Okay. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? Oh gosh. Oh, we're looking around. Oh, big phone light. Use the touchpad as show. Oh, cool. That's cool. Status Anna. update. Okay. You can redirect the light beam using the right stick. All right, makes sense. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, I mean, I kind of figured it would be similar to the quarry, which I am a big fan of. These games are so cool. I love that they have like actual like actors and actresses play the roles kind of, you know? Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh my goodness. Hold L1 to walk faster. Definitely a fan of being a little cautious as we're looking around. Hello? And I'm Hello? guessing there are probably some sort of collectibles like there were in uh, in the quarry. Oh, we got a glint. What is this? Can I grab it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Oh, shoot. Oh, my. What was that? Death totem. Can I look at it? What happens if I look at it? Oh, wow. Indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How, we, how you play will determine whether or not these come true. Okay. So now. So it looks like it, it looks. Yeah, found on. Oh, oh, the totem was found on the mountain by Beth. It kind of looks like, I think that's, that's her. That's us, right? That's who we're playing right now. Falling onto a rock. Whoa, that looks like someone behind her. Whoa, that was totally someone behind her. Is that her sister? Oh my, okay. Also looks like there's the events of the past. Whoa, this is cool. Whoa, that's super cool. Okay, so there's like a whole story that we can learn if we grab enough totems. I like that a lot. That's super cool. Okay, I like that. Where else am I going here? Huh? What was that? What was that? I don't love that there's light up there. Oh my, okay. <laughs> Boy, we're just getting thrown into the... the t oh my gosh! What the hell was that? What is that up here? Then we gotta go back. Hannah. Oh my god, you must be freezing. 
Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> so dumb. Oh no. Let's go. Let's move. Oh no. Oh, okay, okay. Convenient. Drop the phone. Oh no. Is he gonna be like a big yeah? Oh my. Okay. Is there any way to avoid falling off? Big snag! Big snag! Is there any way to avoid falling off? Hold on. Don't you dare let go. Hold on. Oh my gosh, that scared me. He might be trying to help us. Drop her. Oh. Oh. I don't want to drop her. I feel like we're just going to die either way. I don't know. I'm going to let go. He's probably just trying to help us though. Oh, that was so dumb. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's so. Oh. oh. I've already made my first crucial mistake of the game. The analyst, Dr. AJ Hill. Oh, what if this is the guy that we just saw? That'd be kind of cool. I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. I love this. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary. Even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Okay. What is this guy gonna offer me? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. Oh, is it like a Rorschach test? That you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. We, okay, I was just said, okay. We have a glove on. Wait, what is this glove? I feel like the person that just killed those two girls had a, had a, had a glove on. Scarecrow. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Weird, okay. Makes me happy. I feel uneasy. I don't know. I'll, 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 I'll feel a little uneasy. The scarecrow. Yeah, this yeah. Well, I see. I see. What are we writing down, Let's doctor? See. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. I think so. I think so. Sure. Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Oof, definitely not then. I would be very scared. <laughs> oh. All right, all right. I sense that you suffer from a significant fear of, of the supernatural. What lies beyond the veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. Don't you agree? And what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? What a close-up. Remember, this is 
song in your game. Oh, that's freaky. Also, do you guys hear the car alarm? Well, we seem to be out of time for this session. But we'll talk again very soon. Okay. Weird. What's the what's that in the background? What's the purpose of this dude? Does it matter how I answer those questions there? Oh, that is I have so many questions. Weird. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's the point of those questions? How is that going to impact? Like, I don't see how it directly impacts with the game like it did in the quarry, you know what I mean? Man, I wonder what happens if you just let... Is it Beth? Or Hannah? If you let the one sister go? I wonder what happens there. so cool let's go baby i'm ready he mentioned something at the beginning that it was you can't change what happened last year so i wonder if it's gonna be like a year later oh ho, ho. So Josh is their brother. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. Hi, Josh. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I got to say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. Let's get Josh. For, for the sake of my sisters. And, you know, okay, so. I wonder how much she knows about what happened. Let's party like we're fucking porn stars okay make this one trip we will never forget all right yes like i wonder if he knows why they left and all that stuff that happened right like oh, i don't know i also wonder if that guy i also wonder if that guy yeah this i wonder if this guy with the mask is even bad because he wasn't even it didn't even look like he was trying to push us off it looked like he was reaching for us to like take his hand just because he looks scary doesn't mean that he's a bad guy you know what i'm saying so I'm very, I'm very curious if he's actually, maybe he's someone that we can trust. I don't know, he's definitely a little creepy. Oh, 
Blackwood Pines. I uh, looks like this is our location for the game. Blackwood Pines. Let's go. I'm guessing it's gonna be all the same characters as that little intro. Obviously, minus Hannah and Beth, unless, unless, hold on. We then now they're probably dead. Hey, fell quite a ways. Memento Mori. Oh, that's cool. Ten hours until dawn. Okay. I'm guessing we're, it looks like we're, oh, oh, we're just kicking off with that guy on our tail, huh? Oh my. Sam, Hannah's best friend, diligent, considerate. Oh, this is cool. That's super cool. Okay. So this is Sam, Hannah's best friend, considerate, diligent, and adventurous. Okay. Just a good, loyal friend. Hello? Oh. Hello there? We're just starting off with this. Path to Cable Car Station, 2102. Oh, man. It doesn't even feel like we're getting the, oh. It doesn't even feel like we're getting the, the you know, the happy tutorial, like, like or the happy intro part. We're just diving into freaking, could get jump scared at any moment. Oh, gosh. Okay, guessing we can look at this. What does it say? The gate's busted. Climb over Chris. Oh my. Okay. What, are we just gonna push it? Oh, Jesus, never mind. No way we're climbing this, right? Or can we climb over like on the left side? Yeah, okay. Safe or quick? Oh, let's be quick. And we will hopefully be able to press some buttons. Wow, that is really quick. That's like scary quick. Jump or climb? Big jump. I'm ready for the button. Yep. Yeah, that is really quick. Oh my. I will say out of all the actors and actresses so far, I think she's the only one that I've I've seen. Gosh. And so I do I do kind of I do like Sam, just because I've I know I've seen her in some shows. Oh gosh, okay. This is such a big open space. Do we have anything cool? Oh that's cool that we leave we leave footprint. I guess maybe that's not cool. Maybe we're gonna die because of that. That's cool though. I always appreciate that little detail. Like games don't have to do that. But it is cool. Okay. Oh. When the don't move icon keep. Oh gosh. Okay. You hungry? Huh? Oh, that is. Oh, I can't move at all there. Oh my gosh. Oh. You are unsure what to do next. Press R1 to see your objective. Oh, okay. Oh, this is cool. You can see their traits and then their like status. Oh, that's super cool. I like that a lot. Okay. Well, now that I know that there are those uh, totems out there, I really want to make sure I'm not missing any. I, w I don't know if they're all going to be like on the ground, like like the one was. I want to make sure. I want to make sure I don't miss it. I like, guess this one. No, it's just a rock. What is this though? Oh, that looks like a totem to our right. Yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> Oh, cool. I think this is just, I think this is just, uh, the totems it just told us about. So yeah, death is obviously death, danger, dangerous events, loss, tragedy affecting friends, yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. So yellow is, okay. So it's not going to be like the quarry where it's like, you know, each tarot card is like how someone dies. I think it's like, depending on what color it is, it's going to impact. Maybe we want to do it. Maybe we, you know, obviously like danger and death we want to avoid. That's super cool though. So now we definitely, yeah, so this is yellow. As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking totem up and turning it will reveal a colored butterfly and a premonition of a possible future. Okay. I don't think I can skip. I think I'm just waiting for it. There we go. I feel like yellow, I feel like yellow was guidance of something that we want to do. Inter yeah, so guidance. So yeah, let me, let me check this out again. So, so guidance, it'll, it'll tell us again, I guess what it does, but just looking at it, it just looks like there's a bird that flies away. 
The future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on the choices you make. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So I guess we just want to... I don't, I don't know if we want that bird to fly away. If we want to make sure we follow the bird. Boy, that could be a whole bunch of stuff. There's a big old sign up here, though. The fast is... The past is beyond our control. Oh, who would write this? Uh, I mean, like, that's not a bad thing, I guess, to say. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like it said, like, it was all your fault. Things like that. I suppose it could have been a worse message. You here? Chris. Do you know who Chris is? Bag. I don't remember who that was. You're not in the bag, are you? Sounds well, growly. Do I don't think we snoop. I don't know if we snoop here. I don't know if we snoop. It's going off. Let's we'll snoop. It's literally going off. Surely we can say that. A butterfly fucked. Uh -huh. Look who it is. Phones don't vibrate that. Oh my gosh. Chris. Okay, who's Chris? Chris has a crush on Ashley. Humorous, protective, methodical. All right, so he's gonna be the jester of the group. Come on, we need to say it was going off. Just say it was. I'm sorry. Are, are you my secretary? Just say it was going off and give it to him. Yep. Cool. Well. Thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. There we go. It's not bad. <laughs> oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on. It's this way. Where? Right around here. going to blow your mind. Okay. Status update. Okay. Well, let me check. I want to check this out. Oh, wait. Follow Chris to see what he's found. Okay, I don't think... I guess I don't... Oh, yeah, yeah. So that relationship with Chris did just go down a little bit. Okay, so that obviously was not the schmoove. Okay. Well, shoot. Oh, and our character traits change. I didn't know that. That's super cool. So we're a little more curious and a little less honest now. That is really cool. Okay, hold on a second, Chris. Let me look around a hot second just in case there's anything over here. Oh, can I go in here? Ah. Big locked. Okay. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Can I look around a little bit? Chris looks cold. Ta da! What is it? Red, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What is it? What do you mean? W what the hell is a uh, shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adam. You're just pointing the gun at her. Try. Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right. Oh. Here goes. This can be like the combat tutorial. What's the plan? Use the right second press R2 to shoot. Oh, cool. There is a timer on him. Okay. So these are time sensitive. Okay. I feel like I'm kind of killing it right now. Wow. Nailed it. All right. I'm bad. I'm a badass. <laughs> Wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Oh, we're, oh. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. <sighs> no, I don't want to shoot the squirrel. Bro, no way we shoot the squirrel. We're not shooting the squirrel. No way. I'm wondering if that's what that meant with like the bird. Maybe it's like we don't, I don't know. <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> Alright, I'm liking Chris. I'm liking Chris. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. What's the butterfly effect? Oh, is it the bird? Butterfly effect update. I kinda wanna check that out. Now we're playing as Chris. Yeah, there's a bunch of updates now. So now as Chris, what just changed? As Chris. Our relationship with Sam just went up a little bit, probably because we didn't shoot the squirrel. So, okay, what's, yeah, what's this button? Whoa! Okay, so there's a bunch of these things. Any of your business. Sam looked at Chris's message. Chris was offended by Sam's indiscretion. 
Alright. Rats with bushy tails. Chris chose not to sh nature remained in balance. Okay. So yeah, I feel like I feel like it's like we don't want to necessarily mess with nature, I guess. So like not hurting animals and stuff like that. So maybe that's what the totem was for the, the bird. I'm I guess we're not taking the gun, so I don't think it's gonna be like we could shoot the squirrel, but I'm wondering if that's kind of what that is. Oh, is there nothing over? I thought there might be something over here. Okay, yeah, Josh was the brother. Oh, there's something here. Hold on. Clue. Oh, it's a clue. Friend. We'll get a visit from America's most wanted. Looks like someone thought so. Oh. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Last scene. Oh, back in 1998. I guess I don't know what year this game is taking place, but I'm guessing that is quite some time ago. Okay. Cool. Collect clues to solve the mysteries and increase your chances of survival. Press hard and examine the clues you find. I don't know if it's going to shed any more insight. A torn up wanted poster about a fugitive on the mountain dated 1998. Someone didn't want people to see this. Oh. Okay. Once any connection with the first degree arson offense, as well as various death threats. Oh, shoot. So this, yeah, that, I mean, that's probably that guy then. I guess like oh, with arson and stuff like that. Maybe that guy isn't such a good, a good dude. I don't know. Maybe we can't trust him. I, I definitely just tend to be <laughs> optimistic when I play through games like these. I tend to be like, oh yeah, if there's no obvious signs of danger, we'll trust him. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. We already knew that. Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Oh, we got the key though. Big. That for you. A oh, real gentleman. Love it. I like Chris a lot. Chris is, I mean, I guess we've only met two people. Chris is quickly becoming my favorite character. Oh, we got time. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? Wait, I don't want to cut it off. It's a big mountain. Yeah. At Blackwood Pine Hotel and Sanatorium. Is it a clue? Menacing, like sleeping giant. I can't do anything right now. What a crazy place to set up house. Oh, there it is. I mean, no matter how rich you are. There it is. Family bought a mountain. Interesting. Okay. Oh, some creepy videotapes. Oh, is that of the bathroom? Oh, that's weird. How long can I look at it? Does it go to something else? I'm guessing I'm guessing we were just supposed to see that really short little blip of it. That's kind of creepy though. Why was it on a bathtub? That is very spooky. I'm guessing we'll just go back and we'll talk to uh, Sam. Sam. Sam, Sam, Sam. Finally. You coming? Yeah, well, I was going to stay here and catch some disease, but... Okay, make sure there's not like a totem nearby. I want to be thorough. I want to be thorough. I'll make sure to cut a lot of it out though, so you guys don't get bored watching me look at every corner. Do you take a sky a ski lift to the prom? Cable car. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. I like that it sounds echoey. That's cool. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> I like you know them let's together. Just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. 
it and became friends to this day. Aww. Made in heaven. <laughs> if it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. The butterfly effect. Right now. Or we're talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Chris gets it. I just, I am Chris. Chris gets me, man. Oh, it's cool. Oh, it's so cool. I already want to, I already, oh, my battery level is low. Oh, no. SOS. Whoa, Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Confident, trusting, irreverent. I don't exactly know what that means. I'm wondering if it just means, like, not super caring. That's not the right way to say it. Anyway. Okay. Oh, we're moving. Show me a totem. I'm probably supposed to go in here. Oh my What's gosh! Hey. Jessica, over here! <sighs> Are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? <laughs> please? Okay. Gosh, that scared oh. me. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, you got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal. What is that? Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of? Uh oh. I wonder. Uh, we'll explain. Mike and M Slit were together. Whoa, drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. Huh. Give it. Don't be that guy, Chris. I like you. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just going to wait here for a bit. Uh-uh. See who else is coming. Oh. Hey, Mike. Wow. Oh, fair enough. Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Those look cool. Sometimes I forget to just stop. Whoa. Not looking Is abrupt. They have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends. Whoa, Emily, Mike's ex. That's the. D <laughs> I guess that makes sense. It's like the little explanation. Intelligent, resourceful, persuasive. Okay. So she's like manipulative, but not, not necessarily in a bad way. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. This is Matt. Emily. Oh, Emily's new boyfriend. Okay. Was Matt, at was Matt in the beginning? I feel like he was. He is motivated, ambitious, and active. Kind of like an athlete vibe. You know? And where's the bellboy when you need one? I feel like I am the bellboy. I doubt we're going to be able to find totems with some bags in our hands. Also, this kind of looks like the, the area where the, the phone dropped. Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh. Yeah, like I feel like under here is where the phone was dropped. Oh my gosh! Jesus. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness, that's not funny. Oh. Alright, well, this is Mike. Also persuasive, intelligent, and driven. Seems pretty similar to Emily. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods. It's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're <sighs> You always get like this. Ooh, we'll be. Oh, Emily's probably not gonna like it if we if we welcome. I guess. Feel like we should side. Feel like we should side with our girl. 
Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's Ooh. just the way it is. A little more abrupt than I was hoping for. I'm gonna tell you again. Do we understand each other? That was probably not the move. I thought maybe we could move past all this. We buds, but yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. It's kind of hot when you get all alpha, you know that? That's good. I'm glad. I, I just wanted to make sure that we were good with Emily. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah. All the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. I'm not leaving you alone. Ooh. She wants us to go. I guess we'll go. All right. I feel like she's going to leave by herself anyway. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. That was a weird, Thank like, you. sound cue of that, like, drop. That was a little weird. Well, boy, I don't know if I'm playing this too well. I do want to check real quick some of the status updates. Because, yeah, we're definitely going to be... We're very romantic, but we're going to go down a lot with Mike. Oh, that's actually not that bad. Okay. That was worth it. You like that? Okay. That's just it. Okay, so we got Matt and Emily. We got Mike and... I forgot the blonde's name. We got Sam, Chris... This is Ashley. Ashley has a crush on Chris. Oh, they like each other. Aw. Academic, inquisitive, and forthright. What a word. Okay. So Ashley and Chris is who we're trying to get together. Washington Lodge grounds? Oh, I can look around. Oh, this is freaky. What is that? Oh, it's, it's, is it, is it Jess? Is that her name? Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Don't I'm kiss. Not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. I think that's that's all they're doing, I'm guessing. Oh, oh my gosh! Hey, oh my Hey, whoa. Oh my gosh! Just scare you. Scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real. Scare you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? Oh my uh, god. Let me check it out. It's busted. We'll mislead. Yeah, it's kind of busted. It's not. It's not like really interesting. It's just. What? <laughs> For real? I, I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. We'll agree, I guess. Because, uh, sure. I mean, I, I feel like it's not that bad between Emily and, and Mike. Hopefully they're just arguing. Son of a bitch. It's not even that bad. Seriously, Emily? They're literally what hugging. Hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. Matt. Brother, they are hugging. They are hugging. Come on, game. Oh, that was scary. My gosh. Yeah, Jessica, okay. Check phone or read book. Probably check phone here in case there's something urgent. Oh, oh you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see. Oh, it's Mike. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Run to bench or grab snowball? Give me the snowball. We retaliate. Oh, we yeah, clock, I Mike. Know, when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh, yeah. Big aim. Yup. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hey, you know that? I guess we ran to the bench anyway. We're right there. Oh, big snipe. Come here, Mike. Let's go, baby. Oh, big dodge. 
Oh, don't hit the bird. This is that totem. Don't hit the bird. Hello. Should make sure we don't hit the bird here. Hey, Mike. Oh, what a snipe. We are like that. I should make sure we don't hit the bird. I think that's what that totem was for. Under no circumstances are we hitting the bird. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Yeah, so we're just not gonna... Back, we're just not gonna hit the bird. Yep, just flies away. That's big. We can clock Mike, though. Yep. And then what? Yeah, I feel like we just don't want to mess with nature. That feels like a big theme so far. Aww. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Yes, right. sir. My my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica, the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Kiss Mike or grabs definitely kiss Mike. I'm here for the romance. If they're together. Aww. I feel like we want Chris and Jessica. We want wow. Matt Thanks and Emily. Later, buddy. Endless reserves. Who else? Chris and Ashley. Yeah. It's so nice out here though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was Making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Just everybody just get to the lodge, please. Just get to the lodge. Oh, who's in this now? Oh, who is that? Is that our, is that our, is that our arsonist? Oh, my. Okay. Hello again. And how are we feeling? What is the point of this guy? In our last session, we established that you have a fear of things that are dead or undead. This I guess. Time, Feels like a little bit of a stretch. We're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Okay. Men worry me or women worry me? <laughs> um, I guess, I don't know. I guess men. I don't know. <laughs> Big swipe here. Ooh. Planes or crowds? I'd say planes scare me more than crowds, personally. I'm very curious if this is like the bad guy we're playing as right now. I fear drowning, I fear heights. Ooh, I don't love either. Pro oh yeah, I really don't like either of these. Oh, probably drowning. Those would both be such terrible ways to go though. Snakes or rats? Probably snakes. I'm scared there's gonna be a jump scare. I feel so unsafe. Guns are scary. Knives are scary. They're both scary. Probably gonna go guns. No jump scares. Snakes or cockroaches? Give me snakes. Oh, he's just writing all this down. No jump scares. Oh my. I fear scarecrows or clowns. Feel like we double down on the scarecrows. What is this? Crows are scary. Gore disgusts me. I mean, I don't really think crows are too scary, so I'm going to go gore, I guess. I actually think I have a decent... Oh, my... Did I startle you? Says what is this game? You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Gosh. Try to speed up. The more you rely on your instinct, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. All right, we're gonna be on a timer. 
Oh, spiders, eighth out. Huh? No, snakes, snakes, definitely snakes. Not a fan of either, but. Ooh, I fear needles and go definitely needles. Not a huge needles guy. All right, we're trying to be quick with it. We're trying to be quick with it. Zombies, scarecrows, scarecrows. I, I kind of want to. I'm, I'm curious what happens if we double down on scarecrows every chance we get. Needles or dogs? Give me needles. I don't mind dogs. Even though he is kind of showing his teeth. Needles or storms? Give me needles. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. Yeah, no problem, buddy. Snakes, scarecrows, and needles. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> You're so funny, Doc. Uh, well, well, well. well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, Bo. Oh, Probably. my. We can talk again very soon. Okay. Oh, that is just... Oh, oh. oh that is freaky. Yeah, why are there... It sounds like there are car alarms or like siren. Oh, this is cool. Previously on. So I'm guessing we just finished the first chapter. Don't you guys think this is a little bit? Oh, come on. She deserves it. Anna! What's going oh, on? Oh, so Jess was here last time. It was just a prank, Han. Emily was here. So who wasn't here last time? I think Matt? I don't remember, honestly. No, oh, gosh. That's just brutal. First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Son of a bitch. Ooh. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. That it? Man, I this darkness. Every time I climb it. Oh my. I feel the same to me. Josh! Hannah and Beth's brother. Yeah, yeah. Complex, complex, thoughtful, and loving, okay? Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Mm -hmm. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Nice. Grab her making hey, it to the cabin, or the lodge, wherever okay. this is. Yeah. Well, more or less, but it was so good to see you. What's up with him? Ha <laughs> oh, gosh, dude. It's definitely our arsonist guy. Part of me wants yo, to trust yo, him yo. though. You mean you had things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Oh, do we gossip or what? Let's worry. Be a good friend. Hey, you doing all right? I, mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it, and I just I want us to have a good time. You know, like we always used to. Damn it! It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in, they're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like, get open or something. Wait a second, are you saying we should break in? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, oh, Josh. the way, Cochise. Okay. Hi, Chris. Hey, yo. Hi. Confident. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Aw. Status update. Was that good? Was that good with Ashley? What do we think? What do we think? Oh, yeah, we're a little charitable, a little romantic. That was big. Big bump with Ashley. We like that. 
I do think I'm actually gonna call it here though. I feel like this is a good a good stopping point. We finished the first chapter, it seems like, and so obviously a lot more left of this game. I already feel like we made so many bad decisions, but we're just gonna press forward. That's the beauty of this game is that obviously you make mistakes and it just is what it is. You just gotta live with it. That's why there's ways to do multiple playthroughs and all this stuff. I hope you're excited for this playthrough. If you are, as always, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment down below letting me know what you're most excited about. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video. But for now, that's all I got for you. I hope you know that Jesus loves you and so do I. We'll see you in the next one.